Here's a fun way to use your cabbage this fall. This is called Napa cabbage, or sometimes we call it Chinese cabbage. I've been growing it for quite a while, and it's probably one of my favorite uh, cabbages to grow. So what I'd like to show you here is um, when you harvest um, any kind of heading cabbage, now you may see some insect damage on the outside leaves of your cabbage. So uh, don't be disappointed if you've had um, some damage, or maybe this right here I had some slug damage. Just remove those outer leaves and you may be pleasantly surprised at what you find on the inside. Um, most often times I find there is no problem. So make sure you check it out first before you throw it in your compost pile. So we're going to go ahead and trim off this root end here. Okay, and so I'm also going to use some other fresh ingredients for the salad. I want to get some nasturtium petals along with some tarragon. Now the recipe that I'm going to use calls for chervil but at this time I did not have chervil, so I'm using tarragon. You'll also need a hot chili pepper. This is not really hot here, but I'm going to use the Thai yellow, which gives a little bit of heat. We'll also need some lemons. So the recipe is very easy, and I'll leave a link below the uh, video if you would like to print it out. So I'll begin by slicing the cabbage very thin. You'll just need very thin slices here, and you can use any kind of um, white cabbage that you want to. Just make sure that you uh, just give it a nice slice so that it looks uh, shredded and you'll want to go ahead and break it up and give it a good wash. Now you'll also need to peel and devein some small shrimp. We'll need a little bit of honey and some salt and pepper. I'm, like I said, I'm using tarragon. If you have chervil, use it. I'm using some regular lemons along with some Meyer lemons. And of course the cabbage and the hot chili pepper. And the chili pepper, I actually had it in the freezer, so that's what I'm using, along with the nasturtiums. So we'll go ahead and juice the regular lemons. And I'm using regular lemons because we're going to use the juice to cook the shrimp. So it's going to have a bit of a different texture than if you were going to use heat to cook the shrimp. The regular lemons are about twice the acidity level of Meyer lemons. So that's why I'm using the regular lemons. And then I'll go ahead and slice the uh, hot chili pepper along with finely chopping the uh, French tarragon. So I checked on the shrimp. I decided to transfer it to a different type of dish so that I could make sure that it was all getting covered and it's pink, it's turning pink very nicely. It should take about 20 minutes to achieve a nice pink color. That's what you're looking for. And now I'll just go ahead and get the petals for the nasturtiums and we can begin to make the dressing. I ended up with a lot of juice here. So we'll go ahead and zest the Meyer lemon and I'll go ahead and add some salt and pepper. You can certainly add that later uh, after you've uh, assembled your salad. And I'll just whisk in a little bit of olive oil. I wanted to go ahead and transfer this to a little container before I added my honey because I felt like I had a little bit too much juice. So I'll go ahead and add the honey here. Now I want to drain off the juice from the shrimp because they are ready and we can go ahead and assemble the salad. So let's go ahead and break up the cabbage and also add the chili pepper along with tarragon. And now I can just lightly drizzle over the dressing and add the shrimp. And we'll just give it a good toss. I also decided to add some black sesame seeds, so I just toasted them off a little bit. Um, that's just something that's optional. I decided to add it at the last minute along with some cashews. I always seem to want these two items whenever I eat Napa cabbage, so you'll find that um, on my channel. I have some other recipes for Napa cabbage if you'd like to check them out, but it seems like I always go back and add those. and. I don't know, it just doesn't seem complete without it. So now I'll go ahead and add the nasturtium petals there at the very end. We'll give it a little pop of color. And there you go. It was just wonderful. I love the texture of the shrimp when they're cooked this way. So I hope you can give it a try. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by heading down there and giving me a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, you're welcome to head on over to my channel where I have a playlist there and you can find some more cabbage recipes over there. So thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.